Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to give you a glimpse into what it's actually like being pregnant with twins. I'm going to go into detail later in this vlog, but first, my son and I are doing this really fun activity. My boys got, were gifted letter crowns at some point in time, and they absolutely loved them, so we decided to go ahead and make our own. What you would need for this is a silicone mold. You can get these on Amazon, and any crowns. You have to sit there and unwrap all of the crowns which is really tedious but maybe you can find some crowns that are already unwrapped online I'm not sure and then you break them into pieces put them in the molds and you're going to put them in the oven at 350 for about 12 to 15 minutes I would say depending on your oven until all of it's melted you're going to let it harden and then you pop them out and I think this would make a great gift to like give to someone at their first birthday party or an Easter basket stuffer they're so cute and fun and my kids absolutely loved making these <laughs> What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope lighting it looks like I have like a halo above my head but I just got the kids to bed and I thought I would sit down at my beauty desk here and just give you guys some updates on the twins like how I'm feeling and all of that I really wanted to document this pregnancy I documented my last one but I feel like not as much as this one and I just really wanted to I want to have it to look back on I want to connect to other moms who might also be having twins or similar experiences it's just like a neat thing to do I love to talk about it with you guys I feel like in my real like personal life I don't talk about being pregnant that much like everybody's just kind of busy with their own stuff like I'll talk about it here and there but it's really nice to document it here on YouTube and just be able to look back on it so side note I'm going on a tangent there but some stuff has been going on so I figured I would just pick up the camera and let you guys know we had a long day today we spent most of the day outside so pretty disheveled pretty tired right now um and twin pregnancy is not for the weak. I've had two single pregnancies before and this does not compare. I'm not saying that somebody who has a single baby in this moment does not have a easier pregnancy than myself, but I'm saying for me personally, this has been like crazy compared to the last two. Like the last two seemed like a breeze, minus being pregnant in the summer and swollen in the heat. Now I'm just swollen in the cold, um, which is I prefer the cold over the heat anyways but it has been a ride. So I'm going to jump in and tell you guys what's been going on, how I've been feeling to keep you in the loop, or maybe you're going through similar things or have gone through similar things and we can chat about it. Also, while we are in my bedroom, can we take a moment for this wonderful fold-up bicycle? My husband thought of this idea. I cannot take credit for it. He went on Costco's website and found this himself. Um, we have our whole gym in the basement, and it's just been such a struggle for me to work out lately, which I'm going to get to in just a few minutes here, but I figured I would just show you the bike. Um, so we set this one up right on my bedside so I can literally sit on it at nighttime and just, you know, pedal a couple of miles or in the morning when I wake up if I have time before the kids get up, which right now is kind of rare. I'm trying to sleep in a little bit and sleep in, I mean, by like 6.15 in the morning. Um, but this has been very helpful at nighttime to sit on and just pedal a little bit. So I've been doing that and then 
the the bike downstairs like I can't even fit on that right now this has like a jumbo seat which is way more comfortable the one downstairs is like super small and narrow and I can only tolerate it for a little bit of time so this has been a game changer for sure definitely recommend if you are pregnant or postpartum and you want to get back into fitness or keep up with your fitness regimen but you might not be you know where you once were this is a way to get started okay so a note on how i've been feeling lately it is very like up and down like one day i'll wake up and feel absolutely horrible like i'm in the first trimester all over again and that'll usually last about like a two-day stent but the thing is i'm not sure when those two days out of the week are gonna be like one week it was a friday and saturday and then again on a monday and tuesday um so it's really difficult when i have those days because i just need to be laying down and that's something that i can't do all that often when my husband's at work i can't expect him to take off of work just so i can like lay down so i mostly just try and do what i can with the boys and then lay down when i can and i feel a lot of guilt when I do that I feel like they don't deserve to have a mom who's just laying down they deserve a mom who is playing with them and taking them places and doing all the things because they are in the prime of their childhood I don't want them to be you know locked in the house just because mom doesn't feel good um so on days that I do feel good, I really try and take advantage of it. Like today was a good day, so that's why I'm picking up the camera now. I took the boys outside. We were outside maybe four to five hours, like split up between the morning and the evening. We played baseball, we played soccer, we did sidewalk chalk, we did all of that stuff. Um, mainly because I'm trying to make up for like lost time when I don't feel good and I feel super guilty about it if you've been there and you've been sick while pregnant you know how that feels um, I know that they won't remember it one day but I will remember it and I just want to make sure that I'm soaking in every ounce of time with them that I have with them because I am so fortunate to be home with them and I know that's not the situation for everybody so I'm really trying to you know remember those moments take advantage that I get to see them every single day and spend all that time with them and I just don't want them to be like in front of the tv while I'm laying down trying to rest I don't even nap that's the thing like if I nap during the day I wouldn't sleep well at night which brings me to another symptom sleep has been really difficult because I'm so large already I honestly don't even eat that bad I think I mentioned in another vlog like I eat out maybe once a week I cook my meals at home I'm eating like still my healthy like protein bars protein shakes keto things but the weight gain is just inevitable with twins I have really big twins in my body right now full-size baby so the waking's inevitable you can see it in my face right away like I feel so overweight um and the number on the scale isn't the issue it's just how I feel it's really difficult for me being someone who's short carrying this much extra weight that's just the reality of it and it happened with all of my pregnancies but the difference is this time it happened way earlier because there's two of them than the last times where it was just one and it was at the end of the pregnancy. To another point on to why I think that I feel so bad some of those days out of the week, it hasn't been confirmed. I don't have my regular OB appointment until like mid-February, but I do have a maternal fetal medicine to check on the twins in the interim. But I personally think that I have low iron. I spoke to a lot of moms. I asked on Instagram if anyone's gone through that and so many people responded in my DMs that they had low iron while pregnant. Like an overwhelming amount. I didn't even know that that was like a huge thing. I didn't have it with my last pregnancies. But if you look it up online, like the very first cause of it is having multiples. So a lot of those symptoms really aligned with how I was feeling. So that kind of leads me to believe that maybe my iron levels are up and down, like depending on what I eat or what I'm doing. I don't know. So I've been trying to wake up and have two scrambled eggs every single day and like a waffle with that or a piece of toast, like just making sure I'm getting foods with extra iron, like eggs. I've been making um, ground meat, like into meatballs, things like that. And so far, the last two to three days that I've done that, I have felt better. I don't know if it's a coincidence yet. I have to continue on with that path and see. 
Also my lab work, I will have the glucose test too, so I will update you guys on that. I really don't like that test, but you know, just one of those things. I'm doing it to kind of please my doctor because he is awesome and he's very like patient oriented, but the overall practice is very like by the book kind of thing. So if I want him to advocate for me when it comes down to it, I just want to do those things just to you know check all the boxes so that way he's not upset with me or anything like that even though I am the patient technically the client um, I just don't want to be on his bad side because he's an excellent doctor he can do everything that I personally would want to do in a birth so I'm just trying to remain on good terms with him he's great and I don't want to like upset him in any way so I'm gonna do the glucose test I've done all the tests that he's asked of me even though I didn't necessarily want to or you know whatever so I'm just gonna go along with that for now and what I mean by my OB being like excellent above and beyond is when it comes down to having twins it gets a little bit tricky for labor and delivery um, even to the point where the hospital that I had my boys at it's a really small hospital I most likely could not have the twins there if it was scheduled or an induction if I went there in an emergent situation they would take me of course but to schedule it they won't schedule multiples so I have to make sure I'm at a hospital with a higher level NICU god forbid um, but you also have to, you know, speak with your doctor because if you want a certain birth to happen, your doctor needs to be okay with that. That's something that I learned from a twin pregnancy. I thought just like everybody, you know, could go and have their baby the way that they wanted, but that is not the case at all. So what can happen when you have twins is they can be, the first one can be head down and that is great for a regular delivery and the second one could be also head down which is even better but if that baby is breached the second one you need to make sure that your doctor is okay with delivering a breech baby. I did not know this so there's only a couple of doctors in that practice that is okay with delivering a breech baby. My doctor is one of them. So if it comes down to it and the first baby is head down, they are going to let me try and have the babies regularly and they will do the breech extraction. So there's no telling now what type of birth I will give. We will decide that at the very end. But typically the mono die twins, a lot of them are born via C-section, but maternal fetal medicine did tell me that they've seen many women give birth regularly and not have to have a C-section. So I'm trying to keep an open mind both ways and we will see what happens but I just wanted to throw that out there if you are having twins or know someone that's having twins just make sure that you're finding the doctor that is going to advocate for the type of birth that you want now some things are inevitable obviously if both babies are breech then obviously that's going to be a c-section you don't really have a choice but if baby A is head down and baby B is breech and all the stars align, they're similar weights and all looks good throughout the pregnancy, from what I'm being told, you can have them regularly. So we shall see on that. But I just wanted to give you guys an update on that as well since that is coming up soon. I am 26 weeks and I will be having these babies no later than 37 weeks. It'll most likely happen in the 36 week time period if all goes well. So now we are just trying to get ourselves into like a nesting mode. I have very little energy so when I do have some where you're just setting up the nursery still it's turning out beautiful. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. We just thought of like a design for this nursery and it's something different than we've done for our other two boys. We figured it was our last babies. We wanted to make it super nice, super special and I really think it turned out just as I mentioned and a lot of the things we were able to get like on good sales and good deals so I'm definitely going to be doing a full nursery tour very very soon once we have all the pieces in place and letting you guys know how we did find some discounts and deals just like little tips and tricks and how we set up a twin nursery this was so much different from setting up our single babies nurseries because we needed two of everything you need two cribs you need double the amount of space for the diapers the wipes um, the outfits things like that as you guys saw in my nursery organization video I do need to get some more outfits because I think what I have it's sufficient if you want to be doing laundry 
every single day it feels like so maybe i'll just pick up a few more of those sleepers that i mentioned the cloud island sleepers from target are a game changer so i'm gonna pick up a few more sets of those once they come out with some new prints i feel like the prints are the same ones like over and over and over again so i don't want them to live their first year of life like in the same outfit if that makes sense i mean it's no big deal if they do but i figured i would just wait it out and see if they have some new prints why not right so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight, listening to my very realistic raw twin pregnancy update. It has been a wild ride for sure. These are great babies. They are hanging in there. They're tough little guys. They are big guys and we are going to make it through and I cannot wait to share them with you guys sometime in April. That's when they most likely will be here and I will check in with you guys in my next video. Bye.